that I want to learn. Hey everybody, how you doing? It is Mr. Bookman and I will be reading Snowflake by Benji Davis. Please enjoy. And I want to want to welcome a brand new subscriber here to my channel. Welcome aboard. Feel free to check out my other book readings here I got on my channel and feel free to share my channel out. But again, welcome aboard. Snowflake. High in the sky, one winter night, a snowflake was made. She wheeled and skipped and twirled between the clouds. We, she squealed. Only soon she began to fall. I don't want to fall, said the snowflake. You're supposed to fall, said the cloud. That's what snowflakes do. But I don't want to. Plead the snowflake. Help me, cloud. Stop me from falling. You'll find your way, replied the cloud. Good luck. The f snowflake wasn't too sure. She twisted this way and that way. That way and this way. Tumbling as she fell. The snowflake grew dizzy. Far away in a town nestled between the hills, a little girl named Nola and her grandpa, Peppa, or Pat Pie, were walking home. Nola's breath puffed in to the cold, crisp air. I wonder if it will snow tonight, she thought. The snowflake fell over tree-dotted tree hill sides. She drifted over valleys and streams. She hoped she wouldn't soon stop falling when she came across a place that looked promising. But every time the snowflake thought she was about to land, the wind whisked her onward. And there was nothing she could do. The snowflake passed many windows that glowed through the evening light. In one window, Sat a tree strung with lights, and on top a bright star, star simmered. For a moment, the snowflake forgot all about falling. Oh no, be the star on that glistering little tree, she thought. Nola saw the window too. The tree was decorated in every color. And on top, it stars shone bright. Nola wished she had a tree like that. Maybe next year, Papi 
Popeye said, or Pepeye said. They pass many windows with trees in them, each one different, each one beautiful. Then, not far from home, Nola found a branch outside the path. It's my own little tree, she said. High above the air grew colder. The sky grew dark. The wind blew harder and the snowflake rushed along it with it. She wondered if she would ever find a place to land. Then through the wind she heard laughter. There were more like her, M more snowflakes. They danced and twirled, or tw twirled in the in the night air together. They were joined by even more snowflakes that rushed along, in and out, around one another. They were. They were never next to each other for very long, and each snowflake was different, but one way or another, they were all falling, and this made the snowflake feel much better. When Nola arrived home, she got to work. Her mommy took down some old boxes and paper to get, and together they, with Peppy, Pepe, Nola decorated the tree. They used many different colors, just like the tree in the window. They made more paper snowflakes, too. Oh, okay, Nola put the tree outside where she could see it. She hoped that its little branches might soon be covered with real snow. But as Nola went up to bed, she felt that there was something else missing from her tree. Something important. She only she wasn't quite sure what it was. Yeah, what do you think? What she thought what she want, might want it on top of that tree. Meanwhile, high above the house, the sky was swirling, drifting, circling, falling, nearly there, whispered the cloud. When Nola woke the next morning, the world felt different. Everything was brighter, quieter, softer. Then as she climbed out of bed, she remembered. My little tree, she said. And Nola gasped. For every rooftop, little hill, hillside, and every tree had growing white.
One special snowflake had settled on the very top of Nola's little tree. I did it, said the snowflake. I found a way to stop falling. And she felt very proud. And she fell on Nola's tree. As Noma danced into the morning light, the snowflake caught the sun brightly and shone like a star. <coughs> Well, oh, isn't that a cute story? That snowflake lake made a home on Nola's <laughs> tree. Wasn't that pretty cool? <laughs> yeah, what did you all think? Wasn't that a cute story? I thought so. Well, everybody, I hope all of you enjoyed this book reading. And if you did, can you give it a big thumbs up? Smash that thumbs up button. Can you do that? If you're new and you came along this book reading, can you hit that red subscribe button down below and subscribe to my channel and check out my other book readings I got? I got plenty, so feel free to check them out. Also, hit that notification bell. Whenever I upload, you'll be notified. But until my next book reading, they call me Mr. Bookman. And this book reading's over. Have a good one, people. And take care.